have students here you have the next video on class 8 mathematics in this video we discuss squares and square roots you may already have an idea about this topic in this class you will learn certain specific properties of perfect squares some patterns or results based on squares various methods to find out the square roots and some application of square roots so let us start squares and square roots let us understand what is a square square of a number is the product of number by itself suppose uh, for example 3 square is equal to 3 into 3 is equal to 9 or 5 square is equal to 5 into 5 is equal to 25 or if you consider any rational number suppose 3 by 4 3 by 4 square is equal to 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 equals 9 by 16 so these are squares now let us consider the following numbers 1 into 1 equals 1 2 into 2 equals 4 3 into 3 equals 9 4 into 4 equals 16 etc 10 into 10 equals 100 it is must stop here it will continue like 11 into 11 is equal to 121 and so on so the numbers which we get after multiplication of a number by itself uh, they are 1 4 9 16 uh, then 25 36 these numbers uh, are known as perfect squares the so the numbers 1 4 9 16 25 36 etc are known as perfect squares perfect squares so what are perfect squares they are natural numbers which are squares of some other natural numbers all the natural numbers are not perfect square only 1 4 9 16 etc these numbers are perfect squares now how to identify perfect squares we have seen that all the natural numbers are not perfect squares so we have to find out if a natural number is given we can find out um, whether it is a perfect square or not let us consider an example take the number 144 for identifying it whether it is a perfect square or not we need to do its prime factorization if you do the prime factorization of 144 44 divided by 2 is 72 72 by 2 is 36 32 36 by 2 is 18 18 by 2 9 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1 so you get 144 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 now see consider these prime factors we can see that each of the prime factor exist in pairs therefore 144 is a perfect square now consider another number 72 the prime factorization of 72 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 here we can see 2 is not in pairs therefore 72 is not a perfect square so perfect squares are numbers that can be expressed as product of pairs of equal prime factors now properties of square numbers all these perfect square numbers have specific properties first one a number having 2 3 7 or 8 at its unit place is never a perfect square consider these square numbers 1 square is equal to 1 2 square is equal to 4 3 square is equal to 9 4 square is equal to 16 and so on so when you consider these numbers these perfect squares we can find out in these squares never 2 3 7 or 8 appear in its unit place that means 
A perfect square will always have its unit digits something other than 2, 3, 7 or 8. Now, second property. A number ending in an odd number of zeros is not a perfect square. Consider the square of uh, 10. 10 square is equal to 100. 20 square is equal to 400. 300 square is equal to 90,000. 6,000 square is equal to 36 million and so on. So if you consider these squares, you can see when there is one zero at the end of the number, there were, there were two zeros at the end of the square. And if there are two zeros at the end of the number, there were four zeros at the end of the square. And for three zeros, there were six zeros at the end of the square. That means it is not possible to have odd number of zeros in a perfect square. The third property is square of even natural numbers are even and square of odd squares of odd natural numbers are odd. For example, 4 square is equal to 16, 5 square is equal to 25, like that. If you consider any even natural number, its square will be uh, an even number and if you consider any odd natural number, its square will be an odd number. Some interesting patterns. Now let us go through some interesting patterns related to perfect squares. First one, numbers between consecutive square numbers. We say that there are two n, there are two n non-square numbers, non-square numbers between the squares of Two consecutive numbers. Two consecutive numbers. N and N plus 1. Consider two numbers. 3 and 4. 3 square is equal to 9. 4 square is equal to 16. Now, between 9 and 16, We have these numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can see there are 6 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. Now, here we have uh, 3 square and 4 square, and we have 6 numbers between the squares of these numbers that is 2 into 3 equal to. 6 numbers. Here we have taken n as 3 and n plus 1 as 4. So this is a property there are 2 n non-square numbers between the squares of 2 consecutive numbers n and n plus 1. Now if you consider 5 square and 6 square, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, there will be 2 into 5 is equal to 10 non-square numbers between 25 and 36 and it is true for all the pairs of consecutive numbers. Now, second one. Every perfect square can be expressed as a sum of consecutive odd numbers. Consider a number, for example, 49. You subtract the odd numbers each time. 49 minus 1 equals 48. 48 minus 3 equals 45. 45 minus 5 equals 40. 40 minus 7 equals 33. 33 minus 9 equals 24. 24 minus 11 equals 13. 13 minus 13 equals 0. So we, here we have taken the square of 7 that is 49 and after subtracting uh, uh, the odd numbers, the first 7 odd numbers, we have got 0. So here we can say 49 can be written as sum of first 7 odd numbers that is 49 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. So we can say 
any number n square can be expressed as the sum of first n odd numbers you consider any number suppose 8 square is equal to 64 can be expressed as sum of first 8 odd numbers and it is true for all the square numbers next pattern we can express the square of any odd number as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers example if n is an odd number the square of n that is n square can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers and those natural numbers can be obtained by the formula n square is equal to n square minus 1 by 2 plus n square plus 1 by 2 for example consider the number 13 13 square is equal to 169 that is equal to 169 minus 1 by 2 plus 169 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 160 8 by 2 plus 170 by 2 that is equal to 84 plus 85 so 13 square can be written as 84 the sum of 84 and 85 in the same way we can express the square of any odd number as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers Now, square of numbers with unit digit five. See, usually, if we want to find out the square of a number, we have to multiply the number by itself. But if the number has five or six unit digits, then we have a we have we have a formula to do it. If a five, where a can be any digited number, is a number with the unit digit five, then a five square is equal to A into a plus one into hundred plus twenty five. So using this formula, we can find out the square of any number having its unit digit five. Example: forty five square, where a is equal to four. So forty five square is equal to four into five into hundred plus twenty five. That is equal to four into five, twenty. Twenty into hundred, two thousand plus twenty-five. That is equal to two thousand twenty-five. So two thousand twenty-five is the square of forty-five. See another example. Take one hundred and fifteen. We have to find out the square of one hundred and fifteen. Here a is a two-digit number. That is eleven. So it is equal to by formula 11 into 12 into 100 plus 25. That is equal to 13,200 plus 25. That is equal to 13,225. So using this formula, it is very easy to find out the square of any number with its unit digit 5 our next result is pythagorean triplets there are some triplets or collection of three numbers such that the sum of squares of any two will be the square of the third number this is one of the important results of perfect squares there are some triplets or collection of three numbers triplets means collection of three numbers such that the sum of squares of any two will be the square of the third number for example 3 4 and 5 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square because 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 consider another triplet 5 12 and 13 
here 5 square plus 12 square is equal to 13 square as 25 plus 144 is equal to 169 so these two are examples for Pythagorean triplets we can obtain a number of Pythagorean triplets by using the following formula for any natural number m greater than 1 2 m square plus m square minus 1 whole square is equal to m square plus 1 whole square here the Pythagorean uh, triplet is 2 m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 so the, all these three together form a Pythagorean triplet now using this formula or using this terms of Pythagorean triplet we can also find out uh, uh, if any one number is given the other two numbers uh, can be obtained by using this formula for example given that 15 is one of the Uh, terms of Pythagorean triplet 15 is one term and find out the other two terms if any one term is given we can find out the other two terms for that we have to match the given term with the uh, three terms of general Pythagorean triplet that is uh, match 15 with 2m match, is, match 15 with m square minus 1 uh, and match 15 with m square plus 1. So here when we match we get that 15 is equal to m square minus 1. Because 15 cannot be 2m as m is a natural number. And 15 cannot be m square plus 1 as 14 is not a perfect square. So here we get 15 is equal to m square minus 1. Uh, that is m square is equal to 16 and m is equal to 4. Now the other two terms we can find out 2m is equal to 2 into 4 that is equal to 8 and m square plus 1 is equal to 16 plus 1 that is equal to 17 so we have got all the three terms of the uh, triplet that is 8 17 and 15 8 15 and 17 are the uh, terms of uh, the required Pythagorean triplet